Hello, welcome to a new week. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs, liking the vlogs and subscribing to the vlogs. I thought we would spend this week talking about how I am preparing to go on a seven day silent retreat thanks to many of you who supported me in that endeavor. Because whenever I tell people I'm going on a seven day silent retreat uh, next week, I'm pretty much met with disbelief. <laughs> there are not too many places in our culture where we go into silence. There aren't too many places that are open for quiet contemplation or that are available for quiet in our culture, but this is one of the places in our town. Another place where there is some degree of quiet is the library. We are here to renew our library cards and get some books today. Another place where you can experience silence in Victoria is Float House. Tim and Trinity gave me a gift card to come to Float House for my birthday back in February and I haven't used it yet. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Maybe it's like a lead up <laughs> to my week long silent retreat. And I don't know if you can see, but it's pouring down rain today. And I think it's a perfect day to spend an hour and a half in sensory deprivation in a float tank. the float tank. I just have to have a little shower first and then I'm going in. Doesn't it look like a womb? I'm really excited. Okay so this book is a floating inspired art collection. It's a collection that they've done from people who have gone away or during their float had visions and then gone away and created art based on their floats and you can get this book here. There's just tons of gorgeous art here based on people's floating experience. And even while we were here, the other gentleman that was here was, while I was here was telling me about his vision as well. So I think it's amazing what happens when you can relax and have that sensory deprivation experience. Okay, so this is me post float. That's an hour of sensory deprivation. I have to be honest, the thing that I liked about it the most was the sensory deprivation. Floating is very different than having gravity act on you for an hour, so that was a different experience. It's so loud out here now. <laughs> I really like quiet. I do really like quiet. So. Yeah, the floating was very different. For me, it highlighted where the tension was in my body. And uh, that was, for me, it was challenging to let go of tension uh, floating versus lying on the ground. Uh, but there were, and I would, I will say, there was a point in that float where when, um, when it was, because you're in that closed in space, 
when uh, breathing in that salt air, it got sticky in the back of my throat and I did feel that kind of panic and being in that closed space. And so I sat up and then I lay back down and it's so loud. <laughs> but then I was really able to relax again and there were, there were periods of just being completely zoned out. So I, I did overall really like it and uh, I, I love the sensory deprivation. So definitely two thumbs up. We're bringing back mail time. <laughs> we thought we'd interrupt this regularly scheduled broadcast of vlogging to bring back mail time because we know you love mail time. Tim made a daisy chain for you very specifically for this. Do you like it? Give it a thumbs up in the video if you like the daisy chain. This one's from Christine Barone. She, Christine, thank you. You always comment so often on Facebook. We appreciate all your comments on Facebook. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for all your comments on Facebook. A long love letter from Christine and an angel feather. So I will read this later. She says, I haven't been this grateful since I don't remember when. So I'm going to save that little love letter for later. And Maria, Maria is one of our most valued leaders. She leads our book club in our membership community. And Maria actually has perfect attendance. What's in here? <laughs> At our live meditation classes. That's my, <laughs> my mic sticking. Uh, so she's a valued, val oh, she made this. I know, oh my gosh, it's a meditation shawl. I'm supposed to read the card before I read, before I look at the gift. But, nice. Oh my God, I'm taking that on retreat. It smells so good too. How'd you make it smell so good, Maria? Mm, so nice. This is a small token of my deep appreciation to you. Made to love and enjoy. I love Maria. Mm, mm, I'm going to cry. I'm taking this on the retreat. I know I'm going to use it every day, Maria. I'll be wrapped in Maria's love on the meditation retreat. Okay, this is from Donna, from Squeeze. This is, I need new clothes so badly. And this is also a photo shoot that's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite design, the flying heart. Love it. Ooh, this is nice. Peace sign. She brought back the old, um, tanks, which I really like. I wear them almost every day. <laughs> so it's good to have some new ones. Daisies, so cute. And what else we got? With Dancing Ganesh, can't have too many of those. And then I think we're into, look at me looking at, uh, we're into pants. And we're into more tops, pants, pants. Pants. I like the color of these ones. You like the purple? I know, I haven't had purple pants in a long time. Those are adorable. And here's, here's the list of photos we need to take. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. And this is from Donna Roach from Regina, Saskatchewan, a fellow Canadian. Another Donna. <laughs> Another Donna. We have a lot of Donnas. Okay, you might want to pause while I get this open or speed it up. The miracle of editing. <laughs> How weak are you? Here, pause. Please pause. Okay. Can you pause? Can you open it? No, I can't. Are you paused? No. Please pause. <laughs> this is entertaining. No, it's not. It's a little bit no. <laughs> so mean. You're a child for no. <laughs> there's another. There's another. <laughs> this time I'm opening the card first. You are one of my nicest thoughts. 
When I saw this pattern, I thought of you. It's called Grace and Serenity Throw. I thought you could use it to keep yourself warm during meditations or shavasana. There's a theme, theme here. here. You guys are taking care of me right before I go away to um, on silent retreat. Oh. Oh. She made this one too. I'm going to be so warm from now on. You guys know I actually do freeze in meditation class. Oh, so warm and nice. I'm going to be all cozied up. Thank you very much for sending your wonderful presents. These are like very useful ones that I will actually use every day. So thank you. And uh, we'll go get back to our regular scheduled vlog now. Next week, I am going on a week long silent retreat with my teacher Neil McKinley and the Dharma Ocean lineage and the retreat is called the journey home so this whole week I have been sort of preparing myself taking little bits of silence to prepare for going into silence for a whole week what to expect from a silent retreat and what you receive from a silent retreat in my experience are two different things. I have had experience with silent retreats in the past and in my experience going into silence for any given time conserves so much energy so all the energy that I normally expend communicating outwards gets conserved inwardly and so I actually quite like that. I find it's very energizing to spend time in silence. So I'm looking forward to an entire week in silence. In other ways, there is nowhere to hide on a silent retreat and there's no ways to distract yourself. So uh, when we go on a silent retreat, we are practicing from early in the morning to early in the evening with a break in the afternoon and we alternate between 45 minutes of seated meditation and 15 minutes of walking meditation all day long with meal breaks. And so there is no reading, there is no writing, there is no electronics, no texting, and so there's nothing to distract yourself with. And so what I've noticed in the days leading up to the retreat at the, is that there is an emotional intensity and a kind of inner anxiety building. And I expect that that will probably be present on the retreat as well. Let me know in the comments if you've been on a silent retreat or if you take time in silence each day or what your relationship to silence is, how you would feel about taking a silent retreat. I would love to hear in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will let you know how the retreat went next week. So thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I put out a new blog every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Thanks to Tim so much for editing them. And I will see you next week.